Okay, here is my uh, 1974 BMW 2002, which I'm converting to electric. Um, you can see here uh, in the engine compartment, the engine is no longer there. I've replaced it with uh, batteries. Um, I'm using uh, a four-wheel drive. I've converted to a four-wheel drive with four motors on, or one motor on each wheel, so I've got four motors. So I've also got four batteries. Um, I'm using uh, Thunder Sky uh, 60 amp hour batteries, 24 in series for 72 volts nominal. Um, I'm also uh, using uh, volt blocker uh, battery balancing circuits, which you're going to see attached to the top of each battery. Um, I've got uh, three batteries up here in front. I've got one here, one down there, and another one further up here. And temporarily, I've got another battery sitting back behind in the seats. What I'd like to do is drop down the, the floor, pan, plant, uh, floor pan there and mount the batteries there, but that's sheet metal stuff and I haven't gotten that far. Um, also up front here, uh, one thing I wanted to point out was my uh, throttle control. Um, obviously with four motors, I uh, have four throttles that I need to do. And they, since they're all operated by one accelerator pedal, they're all tied together and what I did was built a uh, mount that mounts all four potentiometers um, connected to the accelerator pedal and as the accelerator pedal is pushed down you can see that the potentiometers are rotated. One other thing that I wanted to do was since I now have four motors and no differentials um, I wanted to be able to directly control the uh, current flowing to each motor depending on demand and then balance it side to side on the car. So what I did was I hooked up the, the uh, potentiometer here via its, its arm, but it's also connected to a uh, remote control servo. And what I'll do is connect that to a microcontroller that measures the amount of current going into each motor on either side and then this uh, servo can change position and vary the throttle without actually moving the accelerator pedal. So what will happen is the, uh, the computer will measure the current to both motors and decide to back off on one motor and accelerate on the other motor to try to balance the current between the two motors. Um, other than that, you can see that the, uh, it's kind of a mess still. I'm still uh, uh, prototyping here. Um, some other things we've got up here. Um, obviously, it's a uh, vacuum braking system, uh, or vacuum assist. So I've got a uh, vacuum pump, uh, which is here, which is actually up front here. And it's right in behind the grill. I don't know if you can see that. I also have the two um, controllers for the, uh, the brushless DC motors uh, in the front wheels back here and then I have a, ra a radiator that is uh, running cooling fluid back to the rear uh, motor controllers because obviously they're not going to get any air and I need to keep those cool. So that's, oh and one other thing, obviously I've got a DC to DC converter um, using power to, to uh, keep the uh, 12 volt battery charged um, when I'm running on uh, the batteries. 